हेलो एवरीवन एंड वेलकम फॉर टुडे सेशन इन टुडे सेशन वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट मेथड्स ऑफ फ्लोटिंग न्यू इश्यू और काइंड ऑफ इश्यूज और टाइप ऑफ इश्यूज एज यू ऑलरेडी नो द न्यू इश्यूज आर दोज इश्यूज व्हिच आर ऑफर्ड फॉर द वेरी फर्स्ट टाइम बाय ऑर्गेनाइजेशन टू डेज फाइनेंस फ्रॉम पब्लिक टिल डेट कंपनी हैव ऑप्टेन फाइनेंस आइदर फ्रॉम देयर ओन कैपिटल or the company have managed their finance from private sources now company need further finance and that is why company is asking for asking to people to invest in their organization so uh, there are various methods from which company may issues shares in market and raise finance among them the first method is public issue public issue method is also known as ipo or initial public offering in this method company generally directly offer their shares to general people these shares include uh, equity shares debentures or it can be a preference shares also generally the prices are fixed by organization and they offer the shares at a certain fixed price to people if the people are interested then they may apply to buy a specific number of shares at a specific rate from company this all uh, process is done through the company's prospectus so uh, to issue shares through public issue a company need to prepare a prospectus a document called prospectus in this prospectus certain information should be mentioned by company the information uh, must must be in the prospectus are the name of the company the registered address of the company the existing and proposed activity for which the finance is obtained by organization the location of the industry the name of the directors the authorized and proposed issue capital the date of opening and closing uh, the issue the minimum subscription name of the brokers underwriters bankers manager or registrar to the issues whoever are associate with the organization in this public offering a statement in which it should show that the company has also apply in a regular stock exchange for quotation or listing of their shares so that after the shares are reaching to public they can be traded in secondary market or stock exchange so this many information should be mentioned in a prospectus now there are certain advantages that company may enjoy if they uh, issue through public issue number 1 uh, the first advantage is the company <coughs> it is uh, by by issuing through public issue company may offer their shares to large section of people a large group of people can uh, addressed through public issue secondly it is a very commonly adopted method whenever company want to raise the finance Uh, it is very common method used by many companies uh, further it is a direct method and hence it does not involve any kind of intermediaries and the finally the shares issued in this methods can be issued to large section of people without any kind of discrimination but at the same time this method has certain limitation also uh, very very uh, main limitation of uh, public issue is it is very very expensive method because company need to appoint many intermediaries uh, many person uh, in this process like banker underwriter uh, then company need to pay various type of charges like uh, registration charges stamp duty charges legal charges uh, listing charges in uh, nsc bsc the charges of sebi Uh, prepare uh, preparing documentation and prospectus charges the printing of application form and various amount of other charges so for a company it is very uh, 
uh, expensive uh, way to issue p public and generally it is uh, not suitable for smaller companies it is very uh, difficult for a small company to manage such large issues with huge amount of cost so that is uh, all about public issue the other method of issuing shares is right issue in this method the company offers the shares not to the public but to the existing shareholders on pro rata basis it means if a company has decided the ratio of say 5 is to 2 then if the existing shareholders if a person has 5 shares then they may ask for a company to issue two more shares but remember in this method the person need to pay certain amount of money this is not available at free of cost in right issue the existing shareholder has the priority right to get the shares before it is offered to general public it is called as right issue generally company use right issue when they need further capital from their existing shareholders if a company is having a very good image in market then many investors may ready to purchase the shares again from the company and company take the advantage of this and offer the shares to existing shareholders this method also has certain advantages and limitation one of the advantages is the company may enjoy a loyalty benefit from their existing shareholders if a company having good image then existing shareholders are easily ready to invest in organization second thing in right issue the company do not have to again prepare a prospectus and because of this company may save from a huge expense which is incurred in preparation of prospectus further company do not have to make any kind of advertisement in right issue it is just offered to existing shareholders so company's advertisement expenditure is also saved in right issue this method has also certain limitation one of the limitation is generally if the company do not have a good image in investors mind then people may not be may not ready to buy again shares from the company further company is ignoring the general people in right issue they offer only the offer is only limited to existing shareholders so gen, sometimes company ignore the general public the third method is bonus shares this is the method of transferring accumulated profit to capital generally capital uh, the profit accumulated in company's account cannot be directly used in such a cases if company want to transfer this profit into capital or usable capital at that time company issues bonus shares in bonus shares the shareholders get the shares on pro rata basis without paying any amount it means the shareholders get the shares at free of cost it is a simple transfer process the total amount of capital transfer from profit to capital account and now company can able to use the amount which is uh, not usable in the form of profit the bonus the issue of bonus share is quite often done by many organization whose profit accumulated profit is very high this method also enjoys certain advantage the company which is use bonus shares is having a very good image in mind of people and company's brand value and shares value substantially increases the existing shareholders do not have to pay anything and that is why the shareholders are also become happy when company issues bonus share the third advantage is company can utilize unused profit which is just laid down in accounts to by transferring it to capital there are certain limitation actually bonus issue does not 
transfer any kind of capital does not ultimately increase in capital a new or fresh capital does not comes in organization by issuing bonus share the amount which is already lied in one account is transferred to another account so company do not, do not have access to fresh or new capital by issuing bonus shares the next is placement or private placement in this method the company do not offer the security to general public but rather than doing this company offers their shares to small group of investors or certain financial certain big financial institutes like uti Un, uh, unit trust of india lic life insurance corporation gic general insurance corporation or a company may uh, offer the shares to some brokers or broking house and they sell their shares to this people brokers broking house a small group of investors or financial institutes and then they sell the shares to their customers in this generally uh, the company do not uh, going to listing their shares in stock market this method is generally adopted by very small organization which are not able to fulfill the requirement of NSC and BSC regular stock exchange this method has certain advantage the timing in issuing shares are very important uh, and issuing through public issue is very time consuming process so when the company has very less time at the time company may use private placement it is a very short time consuming process further this method is also uh, beneficial for those companies which are very small in size uh, it avoid delays that are involved in public issues uh, there are no such a kind of commission or prospectors or brokers uh, bankers underwriter they, they do not uh, company do not have to appoint all these people and hence company can easily save the huge amount of money in terms of commission that need to pay to these all people uh, it is very successful and a faster way than public offering as the brokers or financial institute have a large customer base and company through these intermediaries can easily offer to large number of people. Uh, but this uh, method has also certain disadvantages. A selected group of people, a very small number of investors generally buys the shares in large number of shares and hence companies majority shares are in a few people few number uh, few number of people so sometimes it may be dangerous for organization also further the private placement is used in a very very limited extent in india generally promoters in uh, promoters issues their shares to their family members friends and relative uh, for a minimum subscription by using private placement method so uh, that is all about the various methods of floating new issue in share market stay tuned for more updates have a nice day goodbye